Hi everyone, so as some of you may know, I did dye my hair or went to a hairdresser and got it dyed a light brown blonde colour and I've had it done for a bit over a month. I got it um, touched up and everything when it grew out a bit but lately I've decided I really don't like my hair. Um, so the reason I did go a bit lighter with my hair was because I did want to change for summertime but I'm over it. I really don't like it like that much. And so I've decided I wanted to go um, back to brunette and I thought oh yeah it's blonde I'll just chuck a brown dye over it and it should go nicely back to brown. So that was my plan, but then um, I told my mum, she's like, oh no, it'll go this yucky colour. So I googled a bit, and apparently you have to dye your hair red and then brown. So I'm no hairdresser, and I'm just doing what I've heard of Google. But I did go out today and buy two hair dyes. I bought this one. So this one's called Hibiscus, and it's a reddish dark brown. And it does look rather red if you look at it compared to my hair now. So this is the first dye and from what I've read on Google you dye your hair the red colour, blow dry it, Ooh, um, rinse it out and blow dry it and then dye your hair the dark colour. So I used the L'Oreal ones but they didn't have the colours I wanted um, because on Google it said that the dark brown you use can't have any hints of red to it. So I just had to get like a plain dark brown and because apparently if you um, don't use the red and you just go straight to the brown your hair will go like this weird yucky greeny brown ugh, color so this is the dark brown it looks black on camera it does look slightly lighter than black on real life but it'll fade and I did get the permanent ones um, because that was the only one they had in the color I wanted and um, because I don't want it phasing and then going to the red color and then going back to blonde I don't want it fading I just want it the one color yep so um, I'll write down the products I'm using in the butt bar below but basically it's just simple I have a video of me dyeing my friend Lauren's hair so it's pretty much the same process but you gotta do it twice so you do it with the red and then the brown and hopefully it turns out the shade that I want it to I know it's kind of hard to see the color of my hair because it's up but I will insert a picture uh, before and after in this video as well so you can kind of get the idea of how dark from light to dark it goes so yeah I'm just going to try and film bits of me dyeing my hair and if you want a more in-depth one I will link me dyeing my friend Lauren's hair below and just watch that and it's kind of you know most of it is us laughing and talking but it does give some hints on how to dye hair as well so yeah let's get started I've already done the two dyes so I did the red in my hair and I washed it all off I left it for the right amount of time and then I washed it off and there was still kind of blonde bits because I did tie a hair elastic in it to keep it up and so I had like this blonde circle part around here where um, the elastic had been so if you're going to do this don't tie your hair because you will get little lines but I didn't want to re-dye my hair red just to get rid of this tiny little blonde bit so I left it and then I left it for about two days and then put the brown over it I would recommend leaving it maybe for a week or three just so your hair can like settle down from the first dye but I had to go out on the Saturday so I wanted it nice for then and I didn't want it to stay that red colour. So I dyed it the brown and as you can see you can still get a bit of red but it's a much more 
better colour. I didn't actually take any photos when it was red because I had to go straight to work afterwards, like the day after, and I didn't have time to take a photo. The red colour it went wasn't too bad. Um, it was just kind of like a really dark, deep red brown colour. So if you wanted to say that colour, you could say it for even longer before dyeing your hair brown, or you could just leave it that colour. But I wanted to dye it brown again so this is the final look and there's still you know bits of it that are lighter than the rest yeah so um this is how i took my blonde hair to brown hair if this was useful if you are trying this out i wish you the best and please leave a comment telling me how it does go i heard a lot of people say your hair can go green if you don't do the red that's why i was too scared to just go straight to brown so i went red first Christmas time is come up so fast, it's just a week away and you know I still got some Christmas shopping I gotta do, I gotta figure out what to get some people's stuff. But apart from that I'm completely done, I made sure I did all my Christmas shopping um, about a week ago. I did it all on my day off, I just went and got everything basically apart from just maybe three things I need to get. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment down below tell me what you think you know if you've ever dyed your hair from color to color and um good hydrating um conditioning stuff to put in your hair just to make it like more healthier if you have any recommendations for that please leave a comment down below to let me know my hair is in pretty good condition like it, it's just kind of matty because i just kind of you know woke up and did my makeup for work and i'm about to do my hair but i'm like oh i'll film before i tie it up and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and see you in my next video. Oh, keep turning the camera. Bye.